Okay, this is Stikes Perth Gaming here for Dungeon Knight. And unfortunately, you missed the expositional tutorial because, well, I didn't have the recording up when I opened the game for the first time. I was actually setting the recording thing up, and then I was in the tutorial, and it had already finished the exposition thing. So I just finished the tutorial, and here I am now with all the stuff I grabbed out of that room, and I poked at the options, and now I'm here. Okay, the dungeons. Normal dungeon stays the same no matter how many times you play it. The nightmare dungeon gets easier every time you lose while playing it, and harder every time you win. Since nightmare seems a bit more intimidating, I'm going to start with normal. This is, after all, my first dungeon. And... Okay, how do I summon it? Do I just go like that and click, or... Okay, that seems to have done it. I think I carry it over to that circle thing. I don't know. Anyway, you can climb, use weapons. This is a spell book. I like it. You go like this, and now I've got a fireball, and hold it for a moment longer, and... And it powers up. Well, actually, this is a fire bolt, and the other one was a fireball. Bolts don't do nearly as much damage. And I hear something over there, so I'm going to bolt it. Oh! Okay. Let's see what's beyond all of it. I'm just going to crawl under these. Hey, can I grab this? Nope. But I can go through this door. Also, I want a brighter lantern. <laughs> my finger pistol puts off more light than my lantern. And where exactly am I going? Huh. Ooh! Water. Uh, what is this place? Okay, if I go down, is there a way up? Not that I see, so I'm just going to jump over here. Oh, huh. I can just walk up these, or rather teleport up these. No monsters yet? I'm pretty certain there are monsters in this game. Um, I'm just going to put this book away. I don't want to burn anything down in this place. Ooh, gold. Anything up here? No. Key? No, 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 no. Grab key. Okay, I've got the key. And what's this? I don't know. Hey! Mm. Can't cut it down. Can I burn it down? Okay. Maybe what's making the noise is like up here. Can I force my way through the wall? <laughs> nope, I have no idea what that is about. Oh. But I can walk through the table. Torch, books, quill, stuff. And I can't climb this. I can only climb the weird leaves things. Is that a potion? I want the potion! I can't get the potion. What about the lantern? It's much bigger than my lantern. And no, I can't. 
Really? Nothing? What about back behind here? Okay, I can't go over there. Okay, I've still got everything on me. I found everything there is to find in this room. It's kind of empty. I hear more pendulums. <sighs> the tutorial did not cover swimming. Worse yet, this is green. Which in the universal language means poison. So I'm going to um, do this. Pendulums in both directions, okay? This has torches and a door, meaning that is the way out. Meaning that additional content is this way. Okay, if they're both exits, then the one with torches represents a boss room, I think. That tends to be what the torches mean. Noted. Water's still green. I'm going to back up a bit and walk forward a bit. Okay. Hey. Oh. I can't go all the way along the ceiling. I need to stop here and teleport there. And take a look around. Are there secret passageways in this game? Always enter with a melee weapon, just in case you're ambushed. Okay, this is a different room from last time, which is good. I was worried I'd somehow ended up backtracking. Okay, nothing in that cabinet. Gold. More gold. key. Book. I want the book. Hey, I, it actually let me grab that book. What about this book? Wait, did it say it, it gave me experience? Well, what do I do with experience? Uh, sorry, the tutorial did not cover leveling up. This one, this one. That's a door. So once again, I'm going to go this way instead. Maybe I'll even eventually find a monster. I found my passageway. Genuine climbing. I like I Okay, from here I go up like this. Okay, there appears to be. That was close to needing to restart the climb. No big deal. Oh, 
Oh yeah, a little tip for the developer that I'm not sure if he'll listen, and I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I'm pretty sure it is, but the uh, vibrating controller whenever you're um, grabbing onto something you can climb to signal that you are. Can I jump over there? Will it let me jump over there? What if I'm closer? My arms aren't long enough to get all the way over there. Meaning my only option is to... All the way back, all the way back. Skedaddle! In game and in real life, for maximum effect. What are you? Oh, it's cute! Unfortunately, I kind of have to kill it. Hold on, I'm gonna turn myself around. No, turn around. There, that's better. Ooh, boxes. Now, where did the little gremlins come from? Ooh, I leveled up! Anything in here? Nope. I fought monsters! They all died after the first blow. Which was easy because I have longer arms than them. Which is, uh... Not something I'm used to having. Okay... I'm now in a cave. I'm going to rotate the play space again. Rotate! Okay, there. That's better. That's it? That is the extent of their natural cave formation? Oh, three. I'm gonna try and get two with it. Or just blow myself up. They're in a group. Okay, good. Key's good. Is there a book I can read? Huh. That's it. Let him deceive you, Dungeon Knight. Fight him with everything you've got. Okay. What is that? I hope that's not the big necromancer the game was talking about. However, it said it was specifically behind the big evil door and not the little evil one. Okay, what are the pillars of pure light? Ow! Let's see. I'm now wounded thanks to you. Wounded. I dodged that one. Whoa. 
Mind telling me how injured you actually are? Really? I need to hit those orbs back at him? Oh! That did not go well. Do I heal over time? Or do I need to now beat him without getting hurt once? Yes, that's it. Now, Dungeon Knight, finish him. I did not mean to press that button. Bonus room? Uh, no. I'm still wounded. I'm gonna just return to base. I'm playing it safe. But hey, I've got money. Neat. Hey, why is this room question marks again? I already entered it. This is the armor room. Okay, mage, assassin, I have 80 gold. Huh. Okay, I need to be a hero with color. Whatever that means. Oh, hey, I didn't notice this door before. Ooh, this is in my basement? Hey, a swimming pool. So how does swimming work in this game? Hey, little pudgy statue. What do you do? What does this do? Why do I have it in my basement? And now it's making little squeaky noises in the background to be all intimidating. Oh, hey. Oh. A hero with color. There's the red lantern, and here's the green lantern. Where are the blue lantern? Probably in the water. Water. Okay, I can't dive my head below the water. I can walk on the water, though. Watch. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's up here. Blue lantern, blue lantern, where are you? Okay. Now that I know I'm looking for secrets, and I've found two of them, I just need to find the third. Oh, there he is. Really, this makes the red lantern's little hiding spot seem spacious. Ow. Sorry, I just wiped my head.
What are my headphones just fell out? I'm gonna try and slip it back in. Okay. I'm now a hero with color. Now I've got a nice purple. I have no idea what I'm doing, but well, that was simple. Intelligence, strength, dexterity. Take more damage and weight penalty increased at zero. Stealth, crouch speed, stealth damage ranged up 1%. Speed and range damage penalty. Health, all melee damage and two-handed charge up speed zero. Magic cooldown duration damage and point. So like that. Take more damage and speed reduction. Why does being intelligent make me less strong? Okay, one point per level up. The Green Lantern goes here. Stop waving. The red lantern goes here. And the blue lantern goes out of my hand. Here. Ta-da! I am now a hero with color. Which somehow means attributes. Okay, if I remove a point... Got one again. And now I don't. Okay. Hey, I ended strength, didn't I? Yeah. So I should be able to put a point in dexterity. Okay, speed car. Speed range and damage penalty. Why do they all add penalties? I'm gonna go with intelligence. And then I'm going to buy that because because I should be resilient. Anyway, done here. Anyway, this is the big. I shouldn't go near that. That is the big door of evil. As in, that is what it is actually called. Anyway, this little door isn't given a name, so I dubbed it the little door of evil. As in, it is a... Well, actually, it was the regular door of evil, but I'm just going to call it the little door of eagle evil now, because it's more cute than regular door of evil. Also, I found a glitch, which is... You can... No, no, it was on the top that I caused the glitch to happen. That being that if I grab this and try and pull myself through the floor, I am now standing, despite having tried to pull myself through the floor, and now I can raise myself. Neat little glitch. I'm going to use it to try and teleport onto that thing. Nope, can't. Whatever, it's pretty cool. The developer can exterminate it if he sees this video, or he can leave it in there because it's harmless.
Hmm. Well, I don't know what that was. Well, anyway, I've had a look around. I don't think I'm going to try multiplayer. It's just... Too much trouble dealing with other people. Fight monsters and run around XP while waiting for someone to join. Huh. I'm not a very social person, as you would say, or as most people would say, but can I do this? I did it! Okay, that was cool. Well, anyway, I've goofed around enough. This is Stikes, Permanent Gaming, signing off.